been saved and it's taken and just run with the gospel. This woman is somebody I know from the day that the Lord Jesus entered her heart. She has not looked back and I know this is why God has been blessing her and I'm so privileged and proud because she's on ground to present to the congregation our dear evangelist and pastor, Pastor um, Simons, I want you to welcome her. Thank you, worship team. They can stay, they can stay, sis. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's a song on my heart. Can you hear me? There is power. In the name of Jesus, there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power. Lord. Hallelujah. First, I, I greet the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence here among us. 
Lord God Almighty, move in this place, I pray thee. Touch every heart, every mind, O oh God, and transform us this day to you, O oh God, I pray. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. First, I must greet my bishop. I greet you, Bishop, in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet my first lady, Sister Noreen, in the name of Jesus. I greet all my pastors and ministers of the house of God. I greet the elders in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet the workers. I greet praise and worship team. I greet you all. In the mighty name of Jesus, I also send blessing to my dear husband, him darling, darling, darling husband. He's listening. He's listening. Praise the Lord. Because you start at, at, at 11. I get up at 6 because I'm five hours behind and I do get up. Amen. For those of you who do not know me, I'm an Alphaite. Amen. This was the this is the place where I was born. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm an Alphaite, and what you see is what you get. A woman of God. Amen. I love the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul, and with all my mind. I love the Lord for He's been good to me. So good. God's been real good. Amen. Amen. Through the fire, through the storms, through the rain, through the river, even when I was down in the miry clay, he stretched forth his hand. And he said, come my child. Come my child. And he kept me. I have no desire to look back. That's not in my vocabulary. Praise the Lord. No way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, I, I am so humbled to be here. Amen. Amen. And those of you who may not realize, I left here 2011. It's seven years. Amen. Amen. We had other plan that um, my husband will come and then Bishop could marry us all over again. <laughs> but God is the God with the plan. Amen. Amen. He says, you go. He has to stay because, you know, the blessing in our life has overflow. People love God. Love the Lord thy God. He said in his word, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek God and all his righteousness and everything that your hearts desire. Trust me. <laughs> if it don't come the way you want it, something better will come. God give good gifts to his children. Amen. Love one another. Be at peace with each other. Praise the Lord and exercise your faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, God set us up in a new business. Everything just happened. Bam, bam, bam. Every time the, the Bible tells us that he will do immeasurably more than we can even think, ask, or imagine. I am standing here to tell you that is true. The word of God is true. What he said he will do, he will surely do. Praise the Lord. My husband started, a, he loved to truck, he loved trucking, so he started a trucking business. So, and I can tell you that trucking business never just comes so, but let me get into the word. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He couldn't make it, the business still young. And, you know, some of you who are here, maybe in business, you know how it goes the first year. You can't even take a vacation. But I can. Yeah. Amen. God, God says so. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, let us turn to the book of 
Acts, that's where I'm, I'm coming from this morning. Praise the Lord. I thank God he sent me here today. I miss you all so much. And that's no joke. Let me tell you something, people. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your bishop. Be grateful for your pastors. Be grateful for your leaders. Be, be grateful for your teachers. Because you never know where God is going to move you. And when God moves you, I believe he's not going to put you in no cushy, cushy situation. Because he surely did not put me in one. When it comes to the church. Praise the Lord. Many times I have to lean back and make a phone call. And what is going on here? I'm not used to this. I've never seen these things. Let me tell you. Alpha is a church. The church of the living God. For when you go far and wide and you see what's out there. Take in as much as you can. Because we are all soldiers in the army of God. And God will send you out on the battlefield. Amen. And if you're not taking in what you are getting here. Just imagine what's going to happen when you're out there. All you're going to do is fall in them foolishness and join them. Hold on to what you have, people. Nurture what you have here. Why you think I get up at 6 in the morning? You can't always get up at 6 o'clock in the morning when Sunday's supposed to be my rest day and my church starts at 10.30. But I have to. I need to be fed that I can take it somewhere. Because there's people out there that need to be fed, but they're not getting no food. Because when it comes to the United States of America, anything goes. Anything goes. And I can assure you, everybody in the United States of America, apart from Muslim, is a Christian. Yes, Sister B. God bless you, ma'am. Yes. You can't even find people to invite to church. Them tell you they have them church and them is a Christian. I work with people who are deacons. And believe me, them play lottery. And them don't feel no way. They do things where my eyes just open wide. But praise be to God. Because when you're a child of God, there's a mark on you. They don't come near me with it. Praise the Lord. Because I know who I am. I know who I am. Amen. I am a child of God. Hold on. Hold on to what you've got. Because I hold on and I ain't letting go. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter 12. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I see a lot of my family here. So good to see them. <laughs> Praise God. In the book of Acts chapter 12, I'll be reading from verse 1 to 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched out his hands to harass some from the church. Then he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to seize Peter also. Now it was during the days of unleavened bread. So when he had arrested him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of soldiers to keep him, intending to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter was therefore kept in prison, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church. And when Herod was about to bring him out that night, Peter was sleeping, 
bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison. And he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And his chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Gird yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him and did not know that what was done by the angel was real. But though he was see and thought he was seeing a vision, when they were past the first and second guard post, they came to the iron gates that leads to the city, which opened to them of its own accord. And they went out and went down on streets, went down one street, and immediately the angels departed from him. And when Peter had come to himself, he said, Now I know for certain that the Lord has sent his angels and has delivered me from the hands of Herod and from all the expectations of the Jewish people. So when he had considered this, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. Blessed be the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And when I look into this scripture, the Bible teaches us that in those days, the, the disciples were scattered, and they were only preaching to the Jews at the time. Amen? Now, these were valiant men of God. They were preaching the Lord Jesus. Amen? And the Bible says a great number of people believed. Praise the Lord. Because the hand of God was with them. Amen? That is what I get from it. Then the Bible also said that a church, that the church was formed. The church was formed in a place called Antioch. Amen? And that's where the disciples were first called Christians. Let me see the hands of the Christians in this house. If you are proud to be called Christians. Amen? That's where they were first called Christians. Now, Peter was one of the, the prominent disciples. Amen? He was a defender. A defender of God. Meaning him defend God like me. I like you and you and you, we defend God. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Also, there was one called James. Amen. James was a disciple as well. Preaching and teaching the Lord Jesus. Praise God. And the Bible says the church was growing. People were believing. You know, they were preaching to the Jews and then Gentiles begin to draw in. Amen. And I can tell you today, a lot more people was there, but them only was there to be, to in, to be inquisitive. They may not believe. No matter what they preached to them, they weren't going to believe. But many were drawn in. Amen? Praise the Lord. Now, there was this man in verse 1. King Herod Agrippa. Praise the Lord. 
Now Agrippa just suddenly decide that he is going to harass the church. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Agrippa just get up one day and just decide he is going to harass the church. And he did the wickedest thing. Because you would think that harassing would be like talking against somebody. Praise the Lord. How many of us has been harassed? People just get up and just don't like you for no reason. Just start to talk all kind of manner of evil against you for no reason. It's a wicked spirit. Amen. Your children turn and start to do all kind of stupidness. Your marriage just start go wayward. Last week you was in love. This week you don't know what happened. Wicked spirit. The man just decides I'm going to harass the church. And he did the wickedest thing could ever be done. Because brother James didn't do him anything. You don't have to do people anything. And a lot of them, if them did have the sword like Agrippa had, they would have used it against us. Because we are Christians, children of the most high God. He draw the sword against brother James and kill the man. And the ironic thing, it pleased the Jews. Oh God Almighty, how many times we've been going through things. We don't even know what to do. And people just uh, laugh at you. They don't even know your situation. Them just uh, wag them tongue at you. Them don't even know where you're coming from. And them just uh, talk about you. This one tells someone the other thing. And if you notice, if I tell you something, and I want to tell somebody else, it changes. It the change, the whole thing change, and it gone to you, Sister Zelfa, and it change, and then it gone over to you, Sister B, and it change, and they don't know what we're going through. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Agrippa, stretch out him hand. Stretch out him hand against the church. I tell you, church, there will be a time when Agrippa, Agrippa is still around. And Agrippa's hand is stretched out. His hand is stretched out against the people of God. Agrippa's hand is stretched out against you. Help us, Jesus. His hand is stretched out. Look at your children. When you look at the news, Agrippa hand is stretched out against your children, against your family, against your brethren and your sisters in the church. Agrippa hand is stretched out against us. Believe it, they are still around up until this day. Praise the Lord. All kind of sickness and diseases coming upon people. You're eating well. You're juicing. Yes. You eat pea bush. <laughs> you abstain from meat. Meat so nice. You turn to sauce or chicken or fish like myself. <laughs> you want a piece of beef and you just say no. Because you have to think about your health. And that when you go to doctor, doctor come talking all sort of sickness and diseases over your body. The devil is a liar. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Thus says the Lord. Don't accept the sickness. I tell you, I went to the doctor and I am in my job. I have to do my physical every year. This doctor coming to tell me she want me to try out. Try out what? Do she know who I am? Try out what? I must take baby as 
for it. I said, doctor, for what? Oh, it, it can prevent blood clot. Do I have blood clot? No. What am I preventing? The devil is a liar. Next thing I know, I am just keeping it real. I do my blood test. But you see, you got to buy up the enemy and buy up the tongue. Because when I get, I, I look at her and I said, no. You wouldn't even try. I said, no. Okay, can you think about it? No. All right, then we need you to go and do a blood test. So while I put my clothes back on, passing her in the passage, Mrs. Simon, are you thinking about it? I didn't answer this time. I look. She laughed. The devil defeated. But him don't give up. Because Agrippa did not give up. No, because a couple weeks after I get a letter from them telling me that I am diabetes, I said the devil is a liar. And before me could have known the result when she want to pass over me. Tablet already at the pharmacy waiting on me. That is how the devil work. Test me now and see where me is. Because me not run for juice. I don't have to do no sweet. Because the blood of Jesus runs through my vein and God's blood is not no diabetes. And I am not claiming it. And the pills, them, they, they are America. Don't I look well? Don't speak over me with your Agrippa tongue and your Agrippa spirit. Don't accept it. And I, it's not like I have nothing in me because whenever I juke my finger because you have to use wisdom, I am fine. Them want some of my blood to go get to people. That the Holy Spirit can rise up in them. Praise the Lord. Many will laugh at you when you're going through your troubles. Amen. Especially when you're weak. Be strong in the Lord. Strengthen your spirit. Let me tell you, those who are out in the world, the devil have no use for them. Because whatever you get when you're out in the world, it's the norm. It's the norm. You don't know no better. I was there, people. I was there. And whatever I get, I used to say, yes, this nice lie. Lie. But when you're in Christ, it's that time you're going to get hit. So you better be prayed up. You better have strength. Strengthen yourself at all times. That is what we are supposed to do. For we are marked. We are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. Royalty people mark. Because if the queen walked down the road. Right now everybody run out of them house. To see her. So when we walk down the road. People must look. And see the God in us. <laughs> know who you are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And sometimes when you go weak, you don't even know what to do. You know you have Jesus. Situation rise. You don't know what to do, but let me tell you something. And those who know me know my motto. Prior change stuff. Prior change stuff. Puff. Nothing like prayer. Nothing beats prayer. Praise the Lord. Nothing like a praying mama. Nothing like a praying daddy. Nothing like a praying sister. Nothing like a praying church. Prayer change stuff. Prayer. Let me can stand here today and tell you that my count is below. Is low. It's not low, but it's in a, in a, the, 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 the place where it's supposed to be. Prayer. 
here today and tell your prayer change stuff. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you have a praying bishop, it, let me tell you something. Shake my hand, bishop. Shake my hand, come and need it. Thank you, Jesus, for this praying man. Because he prayed for me. He prayed for me. And my sister here, me can call her anytime as she cry with me. Prayer. Oh, nothing like prayer. It's the language. The only language to the heavenlies. If you want to touch the heart of Jesus, you better start to pray. Praise the Lord. Oh God, how is it that the church, when we call for prayer meeting, I tell you I'm an alpha, alphaite, so no go and get it. How is it when we call for prayer, nobody now want to come out. Me too busy. My child of football. Me I watch. When, when my son the East End. Thank you, sis. Hallelujah. Hey, people need prayer. Me can't come out. Bishop send out the calling. Me can't come out. But I say thank you, Jesus, for the faithful few. The faithful few. Because... People only want to come out when it hit home. People only want to come and pray when it hit home. Because nothing not really happened to them yet. Because them them not get a call yet. Them not get a serious call yet. So them can't be bothered to come out to somebody who already get that call. That something is going on with them children. That something is going on down the road with them husband. There may be an accident. There may be something. And people need prayer. But some now go come out because I don't feed them business. But let me tell you something, people. Who do better start to pray? Who do better start to pray? Who do better start to worship? For he who sits up high, he looking down low. And him see who a hold up hand. And him see who behind the TV. And him see who said I'm camera. And him hear every teeth when I no kiss no teeth. And say me camera go down there. Make them alone stay down there and pray. God is listening. God is listening. God is listening. And he is watching. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nothing like prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 3 said, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, Agrippa said that when him killed brother James, it pleased the Jews. Him proceed further. Him step up, wickedness, step up. He proceed further. Now him go after the main one. You ever know why, why the devil tried to lick your children? And not really them them after is the main one. The praying person. <clears throat> oh yes. The Bible says he sees Peter. Yes. And lock him up in jail. Put him between two guards and must see two more at the door. Chain him up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So now it hit home. Because I believe that the, the multitude didn't have time to pray for Brother James. Because him just, him just decides, say, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to do something rough. And he just draw out the sword and kill him. So they probably didn't have time to pray. Because there are some situations yeah. we take a different kind of prayer. Yeah. Intense prayer. Yeah. You ever see them all time religion people when they pray out the ground? 
You think they just spread out so just for later to go wrong? Them have a cause. Them have a burden. Some situation you have to spread out and lay it out before the Lord. Intense prayer. Now them get Peter. So the Bible say different kind of prayer have to go up for this one this time. Because it was a surprise. They lose one. Now another one. And this Agrippa man ain't playing. The church needs to get together and begin to pray. Prayer is needed. Amen? Amen. The Holy Spirit needs to come back into the church. And if the church is not a praying church, the Holy Spirit not come. The Holy Spirit not coming. The church must be a praying church. It's the way you speak to God. What's the point in coming to church if you're not seeking the face of God? What's the point? Coming to fill up seat? Put on pretty clothes? Like the big church then that me, you see? What's the point? To say you're a Christian and you don't, you're not praying. So if you're not praying, you don't have a relationship with God. Nobody can tell me no different. Because enough prayer me have to do. You see these knees? That's why them strong. Me can't walk in ease because my knees strong. Because me prayer. Everything me pray about. Everything. All my sweet children them. They don't know yet, but they're going to serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, come send out the mandate for them soul. They're going to stand here, and I'm going to live to see it. In the name of Jesus, they are going to serve the Lord. So in case you didn't know, no, no, no. So you better start from now. We need unity in the body of Christ. What I don't understand, you know, my church is a, is a little bit smaller than here. And we can't call for some certain preachers to come and give a word. Thank you, sis. We can't. Because the first thing they want to know, Brother Serge, how much people in your church? What if I just me and my pastor? I'm my first lady. I'm maybe one more spirit filled to back me up. They want to know how much people is in your church. Amen. And if you do get one, them come with an entourage and an a seed for all them. <laughs> a whole heap of them come. And I've seen them bring all them own instrument and we have instrument in the church. Foolishness going on in the churches. You want prayer in your nation. Baptists can't can pray with Methodists. Methodists can't pray with Pentecost. Church of God can't pray with Catholic. Isn't it one God? Isn't it one Lord? Isn't it one Savior? Isn't it one Redeemer? What is his name? What is his name? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we say we are all churches. Praise the Lord. The nation needs prayer. Where are the church? 
Everybody, one over that side, me over this side, you over that side. And when me, me have to eat America, God, that is where me live now. And if the money not right, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, help me. If the money not right, it cannot happen. When did the church become a business? Who me, Jesus? Who me, Jesus? Herod hand is stretched out against the church. Herod hand is stretched out against the church. Alpha and Omega Christian Fellowship. Herod and is stretched out against you. But in the name of Jesus, God will send a man. The angel of the Lord is looking for you. Start to pray. Intense prayer. The angel of the Lord is searching for you. Begin to pray. Every situation concerning this ministry shall be changed. Prayer. 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 Change. Stuff. I remember the days when we was down there saw a row green. Bishop used to have a rough bishop say Monday morning six o'clock prayer. A Wednesday morning six o'clock prayer. Friday morning six o'clock prayer and then Friday night again all night prayer. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Ghost was ever present. Because if me, me can tell you not people of God, me fling from over this, uh, and when the Holy Spirit fling me back over this, uh, and when the Holy Spirit chew me down a grog, ever present. And I was one of the Metro Line people. And I used to have to work rotor. But believe me, saints, I heard of a man called Jesus. And I wanted to know him because something good happened to me at that time. Dungaroo Green, when I was in them prayer meeting, something good happened. I am telling you. So I used to put on my Metroline uniform, get up from 5 o'clock, and me have to start work at 6.15. Me in the prayer meeting. They can tell you. Me run to church sometime. Me have my uniform in a church. Because I need something to take with me. That's all. You have to get desperate for God. You have to be desperate. I was out in the world and I said this cannot be it. I made a vow that I was going to take a 360 degree turn around in my life. I didn't know what I was saying, but I speak the word because that's how I felt at the time. I speak the word and God heard me. Thank you, Jesus, for he knew my heart. He knew my heart. 360 degree turn. And if this is not a 360 degree turn, I don't know what is. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We need unity in the church. We sure do. Oh, God. The church, the church, the church. We must have a burden for the church, the people of God. For some is hurting. Some is hurting. Herod hands stretch out against the church. And it's not only us. Not only here. Some him already have them. Believe me. Some of them churches will rise up these days. Herod already have them. You have a demons call them uncircumcised Philistine. 
them let loose. Look around you. Jesus. The church need to pray for our dirty angels that have been let loose. Oh, yes. Come on, people of God. Think about it. A dead angel have been let loose. They're killing our boys. They're killing our men. This is not just simple, sir. This is not just simple, sir. It is saying, time to pray. Mm -mm. They're killing our young men. Time to pray. Don't think because your, 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 your boy may be that size. Let me tell you, you never know. The church didn't know that Agrippa was going to slew James. You never know. And, rem and, and what, I, what I notice as well, these nowadays demons, them are new age demons. New age demons, them is. Them wicked, if such a word. Them wicked and wicked. Them is new age demons. And them, 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 they don't, they are not playing. So we the church should not be playing. These demons step up in your house. Them come all in your bedroom. Drive you out of your house. You know, yeah, some people say them, them st when they finish work, they out, they stay outside because them, them house is so unsettled and so much thing is going on in them house. It's a demons, new age demon, uncircumcised Philistine them is. And you better have the power to trample them. Praise the Lord. You want to move out of, out of your own house. What, what happened to prayer? What happened to prayer? I said it's time to sound the alarm. Sound the alarm, church of God. Sound the alarm. Herod killed James. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Let go the dead angel. Now him capture Peter. Where are the prayer warriors? Where are the prayer warriors? Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Don't believe, say, they're going to continue to kill off your children. There must be an end. But how is it going to come? Prayer. God answers prayer. He answers the prayer of the righteous. Amen? It don't make no sense. You say, you yeah, cry, oh Lord, help me. That is not prayer. Uh uh. Or it's somebody, pray for me. Pray for me. Really? Are you praying? <laughs> no, ain't it ironic? Somebody will say to you, Sister so and so, pray for me. We see it at the altar. Keep it real now. You call for prayer. They come to the altar, right? Obviously, they have a problem because none of them come up about long tears. Amen? It is our duty to pray for them. It is our duty, right? That's what I was taught, right? So we begin to lift them up in prayer. How you dear, how you gone in the spirit, how you pick up something, how you pray for them. Open your look on them, see them now? Why should it take so long? They can't be, them stand up so. How you pray your heart out for them, and then they turn up so. But we still pray. Praise the Lord. But you know, God is a wonderful God. He's full of mercy and he's abounding in love. 
You know God will turn for them, even though they turn up so. Yeah, he'll do it. But as Caribbean people say, if God was like man. <laughs> if God was like man. Praise the Lord. We must pray with extreme force. Extreme force is needed. Praise God. Them capture. Brother Peter, no. Are you going to kill him? Go and kill him. Yes. But why he couldn't do it? He put him between the two guys because it was the time of the, 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 the Passover. But don't you know the time of the Passover? He still couldn't kill Peter because Peter was washed in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And he was filled with the Holy Spirit. So at the time when he captured him was the right time. God do everything in the right time. No matter what the enemy planned for you, there is always a right time. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus cover him. And he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, you want to come capture me? I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Some situation, when you have a situation where you alone can deal with people of God, call for back up. The Bible says Peter was born between two gods and two more at the door, but Peter had back up because the church was praying. The church was intense prayer. They were lifting him up. Can you imagine how they spread out before God Almighty pleading for his life because one already dead and there is no way they were going to spare this one, brother Peter. And the church was praying intense prayer because there was a cause hallelujah people of God you must not only pray when there is a cause the Bible said pray in season pray out of season you must always pray pray when things good and nice yes and pray when it's just so 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 you just keep praying pray for others when you pray out I you know, not necessarily pray Pray for yourself or your family. Think of somebody and pray. Pray for Bishop because he need help. He need a man to lift up his hand, to hold up the mantle. Pray for him for he needs strength like no other. Help him in the name of Jesus because if me did I, me would have I hold up him hand. I am telling you no lie but as far as I am there is no distance in prayer and I pray for them. Pray for your sisters. All who you think not like you, pray them in the, 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 pray them into the kingdom of God. All who you don't have none of you do it, pray them in. For when them come in, you will eventually like them, you know. Because them they will change. Yes. They will change. Next thing you know, you and them become good prayer partner. It doesn't make no sense making enemies. No sense whatsoever. Because Christian we are and we must have the fruit of the spirit in us at all times. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, anybody who I have animosity with, when I was here, come hug me, you know, because right now I love everybody, you know. Because when I see the love of Jesus all around me, how me if I got dislike people? When I see the blessing of God, how me if I got cut my eye against people? I want them to be blessed. Two, let them come and see the goodness of the Lord thy God.
God, come. The woman at the well said, come and see a man that I have met. I want to say, come, let me introduce you to me, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Them cheering up, brother Peter. Can't touch him, for the blood prevail. The blood shields. The blood protects. Them can't touch him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. How can a man be chained up and fall asleep? Because he have Jesus. He know the God he serve. He rest in the bosom of God. Amen. Amen. I know he said a prayer. He probably said, Lord Jesus, if it is thy will, let it be done. Because he knew where he was going. But the church prayed. Oh, I long for a praying church. A praying sister to back me up. A praying brother to say, come, let us pray. A praying man for call my husband and say, let me pray for your wife that God can bless her more. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for the anointing overflow all over us. Husband, begin to pray for wives. Put your hand on your wife's head and begin to pray them up. The Bible says, young man, you are called because you are strong. God call you not for just sit down in a church. Pray unto the Lord. Pray. Lift up prayer. There is things where I know men want to see their, 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 their wives walking in certain way. Prayer. <laughs> Take it to the Lord in prayer. He will surely, surely, surely answer. The Bible said Peter was sleeping. Amen. And the angel of the Lord came in and struck him and said, Peter, get up! <laughs> Arise! Praise the Lord. Oh, I wish some of you in this place, because we know enough of us in here have a holy promise surround us, chain to it in the name of Jesus. But the Bible said, Arise! And shake it off. Shake off the crosses. Shake them off of you. For God who oh God has set free. There's no chains. No chains on any of us. We must know to shake it off. And arise and begin to pray. For there is no situation that's bigger than my God. No situation. Praise the Lord. God is bigger. We serve an awesome God. Awesome is his name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Know that when you're in a certain situation, and no matter how you may feel chained down and bogged down, God's got this. Just speak the word. No matter what I'm going through, God's got this. I am going to pray. You have to discipline yourself. Because the devil will take you away from God cook. You will say, you know what? We're going to spend some time. And all of a sudden, your member say, you forgot to cook. Your member say, oh, we didn't have something to do. Watch and see when you decide that you're going to spend some time in the word. Everything start come to your memory that you need to go and do. Put it aside. Lay it aside and get in the word. Because even if you did have a pot on the fire and it burn up, God will provide. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Shake it off. Say shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake them off. Arise, people of God. Arise. Shake it off. Praise the Lord. 
Peter come to himself because he thought it was a dream. Because he probably just decided, said, this is it. But nothing beats prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Peter come to himself. Hallelujah. You know, when the church come together in unity and pray, you know, while you're praying, angels stand alert and just start to dispatch. Just start to dispatch. You're not even a pray for your situation. You're praying for somebody else. But them stand alert. And while the prayer go up, them just start to dispatch. God just start to dispatch his angel and just start to shuffle like a card pack and start out your situation. The Bible said, Peter, turn up. After the angel take him out of the shackles on the chain and put the man them to sleep, the Bible said, Peter, turn up and knock on the door. Ain't it nice when whatever you pray for, turn up. Hallelujah. Ain't it good? Whatever you pray about, you may be waiting on it for years. And all of a sudden, it just turn up. Like Peter, turn up. Peter knocked the door. And when the little girl opened, when she looked, she never opened the door. When whatever you, you pray for, turn up. You can't believe it. Me have to make phone call and say this. I can't even tell you. I can't even explain it. But it just turned up. It just happened. I don't know how. I don't know when. But Jesus answered my call. He answered me. When I pray. When I lift up the name of Jesus. He heard my cry. And he answered me. For when this poor man cried. The Lord answered me. And he delivers me. Yes, he will deliver you. Yes, he will deliver you from all your fears, from all the trials, from all the tribulation. Jesus will deliver you. He will turn up. An angel will turn up in the name of Jesus. Peter knocked upon the door. And the young girl, she was so shocked. She was so frightened. She ran. She could not believe. She only heard his voice. The Bible says she heard his voice. And she ran from the door. And she ran inside to the church that was praying for Peter. And she said, Peter is at the door. And them said, little girl, you're mad. You must be mad. But for me, God, no mad. In the name of Jesus. For he said he will do what he said he will do. And he will surely do it. In the name of Jesus. I want I want you all to stand on your feet right now in the name of Jesus. I am telling you people, I pray in church, God will deliver. I pray in church, God will answer. Jesus will turn up in your situation. God will turn up. You just have to pray. Keep praying. Keep asking. Keep receiving. For God gives good gifts. He surely does to his people. Pray for your children. In the name of Jesus. Pray for your sister. Leave your troubles behind. And begin to pray. Pray for deliverance. Pray for this nation. For we all need prayer. The children never are dying. Oh God Almighty. Bind up the Agapa spirit. Bind it up now. In the name of Jesus. He shall be bound. We put him under our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus. For no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Form against us. It shall not prosper. It will not work. Thus says the Lord. Thy God Almighty. He will deliver you. The same God. Peter, he will deliver you. He will deliver you. 
Walk in your deliverance. If you know there is something you have taken to the Lord in prayer, run to the altar. Run to the altar. If you are waiting on God to answer a prayer, run to the altar. I am telling you people, prayer cheers. Off. Give it to the Lord. Give it to the Lord. Lift up a prayer. Lift up a prayer. Open your heart and receive the Lord. Receive the salvation of the Lord thy God. For he loves you. And Jesus, he answers prayer. He answers prayer. Oh God, we bless you this morning. Oh God, we honor you this morning. Oh God, we praise you this morning. We thank you, God Almighty, for you are our shield. Shield us, Lord Jesus, as we shake them off, Lord God. As we shake them off, Jesus. As we shake off the Agrippa spirit in the name of Jesus. As we shake off the things that is not of you, that surround us, oh God. We shake it off now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, surround us, oh God, by your presence, Lord. Let the Holy Ghost come amongst us and surround us this morning. In the name of Jesus, fight our battles, Lord. Help us, Jesus. Teach us how to pray. In the name of Jesus. Teach us, Father God, how to depend on you, God. Teach us, Lord Jesus, how to cry out of our Father who are in heaven. For you are God. Help us, Lord Jesus, to walk in your will. Help us, Jesus, to cry out thy name. Oh, God Almighty, help us, Jesus, to walk in your will. To walk in your ways. Help us, Jesus, that we will be a praying church. Oh, God Almighty, help us to be unified in the name of Jesus. Lord, we glorify you this morning. Lord, we praise you this morning. Lord God Almighty, oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. Oh, excellent. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for dispatching your angels on our behalf this day. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we glorify you. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus.